Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's English session. How are you doing, students? Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how's it going? In a rainy evening. It's raining here in San Salvador. Is it raining where you are? Yeah. It is? Is it raining hard? It's so hard. All right, be careful, be careful. Um, well, welcome to tonight's session. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you here in our second English session. Let's practice a little bit using frequency questions. Let's practice frequency questions. Let's see. Sandra Campos, you open with one question for the class. Yes, using frequency. Can you repeat, I don't hear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? A little. A little. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe the communication is bad. Can somebody make a frequency question? Remember, there are two ways, two ways to make frequency question. Do you remember the two ways? How do you open? I'm sorry, can you repeat? And how do you often? How, how do, do you often? often? Are you sure? How do you often? Is that correct, class? Uh, how often do you? How often? How often? How often do you? That is one form. That is one form. Uh -huh. How often? do you and you say the activity what is the other form do you remember the other form do you ever do you ever yes do you ever okay jancy can you open with a frequency question for the class go Sorry, sorry. Open with the question. I need a question. Hi, Elizabeth. Can you make a question using frequency? Okay. I make a question. Yes. How often do you get a, get invited to dinner? How often do you get invited to dinner? Interesting question. Another? Wait, wait, wait. Uh huh. Next, next, next. Song. Okay. How how often do you paint the house? That's a good one. Okay. Do you have one more? How often do you take vitamins? Oh, that's good. That's good. How often do you take vitamins? Something else? How, how often do you go? Do you go out with your friends? I like that one. Let's keep that one. How often do you go out with your friends? Volunteers to answer the questions. How often do you go out with your friends? Do we have any volunteers? Thank you, Elizabeth. Good job. Uh -huh, guys, I'm all ears. Tell me, tell me, tell the class. How often, how often do you do your medical checkups? Wait, Jancy, the principal question for this conversation is, how often do you go out with your friends? What's okay. your answer? Oh, okay. Ooh, never. <laughs> I never go out with my friends. Oh, okay, okay. You are you are a good girl. You are a good girl, right? Yeah. 
Thank you, Jancy. How about you, Sara? How about you? How about you? Come on. Are you in the conversation? Are you in the conversation? How about you, Carlos? Mm, I sometimes sometimes uh, visit my friends. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Visit is kind of similar to go out. Go out. Right? Yeah, go out is like go to a restaurant, for example, or go to the movies, go to the cinema. Uh, yeah, that's that's going out. That's pretty much the activity. BC is like like you go to your friend's house. You understand? So you yes. visit your friend's home, right? But going out, it's going to a different place rather than your house or your friend's house. So let's let's ask the question how often do you go out with your friends how about you sandra amaya okay i think we have problems with the audio we have problems with the audio we're going to switch questions we're going to switch questions let me see um let me see let me see jessica castro can you hear me can you hear me yes, jessica? Yes, yes. okay jessica make a question using frequency how often do you eat pupusas okay thank you jessica good job let me see. Marina, can you hear me, Marina? Yes. How are you doing today, Marina? Can't Good hear you. I can't hear you. How are you today? I'm connection. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't practice with you like that. Let me see. Sandra Campos, can you hear me, Sandra? Most, me. most people have most people have problems with the audio, huh? How about you, Marbelli? Can you hear me, Marbelli? Hi, teacher. Okay, <laughs> can you make a, can you make a question using frequency? Um, how often do you read book? I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question? How often do you read book? Okay, we're gonna put the noun in plural. We're gonna say books. How often do you read books? Okay. How often do you read books? Okay, Jose, Samuel, how often do you read books? Books. It could be online, right? Or it could be like the book itself. I, I hardly ever read books. You hardly ever read books. Okay, guys, help me with the with the audio, please. Los que tienen ahí interferencia, me ayudan, porfa, con su audio. Samuel, make a new question using frequency for the class. Go ahead. How often do you ride a bike? That's a good one. How often do you ride a bike, Samuel? Never. Never? <laughs> I never ride a bike. <laughs> how about how about you, Elizabeth? How often do you ride a bike? <laughs> okay, how about you, Sarah? How often do you ride a bike? <laughs> I can't hear you. I can hear you. How about you, Tanya? I... How often? Go ahead, Sarah. Go ahead. Good evening, Mr. 
Ah, ok, ok, ok. De repente sí están todos. Ba. Ok. Comencemos con mi Sara. How often uh -huh. do you ride a bike? I, I, usual, I, I usually ride, ride a bike. ¿Cómo se puede ride uh, a bike? Bike. A bicycle. You can say a bicycle or a bike. Yeah, because a motorcycle is different, right? Motorcycle is faster, right? And more dangerous. <laughs> so how often do you ride a bike? So you never ride a bike, Sara? Never. Okay, no problem, no problem. Never. Make a question, Sara, go ahead, make a question. How, how often do you watch TV? How, how or how? How of how? Say, say how. How, how, how. Of, like the Indian how uh, greeting, right? How often? <laughs> how how I a, often? I have a question for the class. How often do you use a computer? How often do you use a computer? Like, always. Tell me, tell me, volunteer, raise your hand. Raise your virtual hand. Raise your virtual hand and tell me. Very often. Okay, Samuel, how about you? I something uh, use computer. Something or sometimes? Sometimes, sometimes. I sometimes use computer. Or desktop. Correction. Let's make a correction, Sam. I sometimes use a computer. Oh, thanks. Remember, I remember, sometimes... if it's singular, you need the article a or an. Mm -hmm. So you sometimes use a computer. That's good. That's good. How about you, Elizabeth? Go ahead. I, I use a computer every thanks week. We think. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You use a computer every Tuesday? Every day, day week. Every day of the week. Uh, what do you mean? Hmm. Every day? Is it every day? No. Every every week. Always. Monday day. Monday to Friday. Ah uh, yeah. Correct. I, uh, vamos a decir I I use a computer on weekdays. On weekdays. On weekdays. También podemos llamarles business days. Repeat, guys. Business days. Business days. Business days. Sería, business bueno, days. weekdays como los días de la semana, right? Monday to Friday. Business days son los días laborales. Es lo mismo, ¿verdad? De lunes a viernes. Go ahead, Sandra Amaya. Do you have an answer for me? Go ahead. I always use a computer. You always use a computer, huh? You you work with a computer, Sandra? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Always, do you always. do do you work from home? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm, sometimes. Sometimes you work from mm -hmm. home. Ah, capiche, yes. capiche. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Go ahead, Carlos Portillo. Good job, Sandra. I usually computer four or five times a week. Okay, so you use a computer four or, or five times a week. Woo, that's almost every day. It's almost every day, huh? That's good. Do you do you work or do you study, Carlos? I study. You study? Okay. In the yes. university, right? No? High school? No. What do you I, study? What do you study? Oops. What do you study? 
<risa> eh, no, son al curso o diplomados así. Oh, ok, ok. So you take courses online. Ok, excellent. Good practice, people. Good practice. Let's go. Let me go ahead and share my screen because we need to move on. Tell me, please, if you can share my screen. Can you see it? Yeah, teacher. It's good. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. I have an answer. Pero es referente a la plataforma, teacher. No sé si puede ser aquí o al final. No sé. Fíjese que si es respecto de la plataforma, necesito que me comunique con nuestra técnico. ¿Ya vieron quién es nuestra técnico a cargo? En, en nuestro grupo de WhatsApp debería estar. Yeah, I think it's Catherine. If it's not Catherine, it's, it's Flor. Pero yo creo que es Catherine, porque siempre ella es quien nos está ayudando. So check on the WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. It's Emily Ramirez. Emily. Oh, okay, okay. Textémosle a ella en horas hábiles, por supuesto, eh, referente a la plataforma, okay? Okay. Yes. Let's go here. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, did you did you notice? Did you notice there is a Help sound natural when speaking? There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. Falling Falling, hacia abajo, falling intonation. When you speak in English, you have to have not only pronunciation, but also intonation. Intonation is really important. Um, for example, here, you really fit, Paul. Repeat, you really fit, Paul. You really fit, Paul. You really fit, Paul. Repeat. She looks you, tired, James. She looks she tired. Really James. She looks tired. tired. She looks tired, James. She looks tired. She looks tired. I look tired, James. I feel great, Doctor Lee. I feel great, Doctor Lee. So your intonation is very, very important. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, this is an expression. This is a very uh, famous expression in English. A real fitness, fitness freak. What does? It's like, it's like something you're crazy about. Yes. For example, I am a real donuts. Do you like donuts? Donuts? Yeah. I am a real donuts freak. Yeah. Do you like soccer? You can say, I'm a real soccer freak, yeah? Soccer, fitness, eh, entertainment, movies, music, etc. So freak is like crazy, okay? Let's go ahead and check the uh, conversation. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. That sounds... 
<laughs> you have any question about this conversation? Do you have any unusual vocabulary or a question for the teacher? Yes or no? Tell me. Chat. Okay. Chat. No? You don't have questions? Chat. 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 What is chat? Hey. Hey. I'm sorry, there's a lot of noise in the background. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the question? ¿Qué significa chat? Chat. Shape. Shape. Chat música. Shape. Shape es como shape. forma. Mm -hmm. okay. Forma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eh, great shape es una forma genial, right? Great shape ah, es estar súper saludable, eh, súper atlético. Shape. You're in great shape. ¿Se acuerdan que también decíamos you're really fit? Uh -huh. You're really fit. That's another expression. Yes. For example, uh, Carlos is, it looks, Carlos Fernando looks very fit, right? He looks very fit, right? So you can say uh, Carlos is in great shape. That's another way to say I it. Know. It's another form. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more questions. No more questions. I have a question for you. What is what is workout? Here, here, here. Work, workout. That's a that's a phrasal verb. Salir del trabajo. Are you sure? Are you sure? No, I what think that is do exercise. Is the synonym of exercise. Yes, yes. yes. Right. What happens, eh, Samuel, is que este es un verbo fraseal. This is a phrasal verb. Nosotros conocemos work como trabajar, pero work out, work out, it's a phrasal verb. The meaning is exercise. So you can say exercise or work out. Okay. No more comments, no more questions. Let's practice the conversation. Please repeat after me. Please repeat after me. You're in great shape, kid. You're, You're in great, great, shape. great shape. You're in great shape, kid. During the okay. Thanks. I guess I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I guess I guess I'm a real I guess I'm a real fitness I'm a, I'm a real, I'm a real fitness I'm, freak. I'm, I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a real, I'm a real fitness freak. Real, 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 real. How often, how often do you work out? How, how often, often do you work out? Work out. Work out. Work out. Work out. You, you put it together, work you out. say it together, all right? Work out. How often do you work out? How often do you work out? How often do you work out? <laughs> Good. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, well, this is an illegal well. expression, guys. Use it. Use it. You, well, you use it. Well, it's very elegant. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. And I play tennis every week. And I and I play tennis every week. And, and I, I, I play tennis every week. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
Tennis. Tennis. Sound that like, sound like, like a lot of people. Give me the, give that me the sound. sounds. Sound. 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 That sound. Sound. Because it's third sound. person, remember? Sounds like a lot of That sounds. That sounds like a lot of, like a lot of fun. Like a lot, like. Like, 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 a lot. like a lot, 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 teacher. ¿Qué significa toda esa frase? Eso suena como algo super divertido. That sounds like a lot of fun. Repeat. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Excellent, guys. Ooh, ooh. Do you want to play some time? Ooh, do you want to play some time? Oh, oh, you want to play some time? Lips, lips close, okay. Um, how well do you play? Uh, how well do you play? How well do you play? How, how well do you play? How well do you play? Well do you play? Pretty well. Pretty well, I, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. Well, I guess. Pretty well. Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. I guess. Very humble man. Very humble man. <laughs> well, all right. Well, well all right. right. But I am not very good. But I am not, I am not very good. good. I am not very good. But I am not very good. But I am, I am not, not very good. good. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. I'll, 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 I'll give you. I'll give you. A few. A few. A few. Tips. No Let's listen to it one I more time. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. I love this conversation. I really like it. Okay, we're going to practice this conversation. Students and teacher Kalev. Uh, uh, teacher Kalev is going to interpret Keith's role. And the students will interpret Ruth's role. You ready? Yes. Uh, three, two, one. Give your best pronunciation. Go. Where You're in, in great shape. shape. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Oh, how often do you work, work, work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? 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 Uh, sounds like, like, like a lot of fun. Like, that sounds like a lot of fun. Do you want to play some time? Pretty well, I guess. Well, right, right. right. And I'm not very good. I'm not very good. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good. <laughs> no problem. I'll give you a few tips. 
Nice job. Let's switch, okay? I will start now with Ruth's role and students will continue with Keith's role. Guys, one observation is that you mispronounce here the third person. When the third person is used, we add the letter S and we pronounce the letter S. In this case, that sounds, uh, eso suena, right? That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Here we go. You're in great shape, guys. Thanks. Thanks. I guess I am really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, well I do aerobics twice a week. Every tennis every That every sounds week. like a lot of fun. How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, um, but I am not very good. No problem. A few, a few. A few tips. A few tips. And here is pretty well. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Oh, is the pretty puede ser un, un adverbio, right? Puede ser un adjetivo, right? Porque yo puedo decir, uh, she is very pretty como adjetivo. Pero aquí está eh, como un adverbio, como significa muy, muy bien, ¿verdad? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Or pretty, pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Um, pretty y aquí well. qué se refiere cuando dice, um, let me see, cuando él dice, I am a real fitness freak. I am a real fitness freak. Uh, yeah, está loco por. Está loco, verdad? Apasionado, enamorado de estar así siempre. Team, decimos nosotros. All right. So I'm a real Forma. fitness freak. That's good. That's good. Let me see. In that case, we can move on. Let me see. Super, super duper. Let's move on. We're going to make questions with how. If you notice, if you notice, in this conversation, we are using a question with how right here. Ruth says, how well do you play? Repeat, how well do you play? How well do you play? It's like, ¿qué tan, qué tan bien? ¿Qué tan bueno eres? ¿Qué tan bien juegas? How well do you play? So we're going to learn questions with how. And be careful because many people have problems pronouncing this word, okay? This W-H word. What is the pronunciation? How? How do you spell it? H O W W. Okay. For example, how often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, not very often. Right? How about you? How often do you work out? Not very often. Not very often? Okay. Twice a week? Every day? No. Every year? Okay. <laughs> Once a year? Once a year? Twice a year? Okay. How often? How often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? Uh-huh. How often do go you go shopping? Worms. I go I go the worms the week. Okay, you say you should say I go shopping. Yes. Mm -hmm. I go shopping once a week. Once a month. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How often? Okay, Emma, make a question using how often, please. How often do you watch movies? How often do you watch movies in English? I'm just kidding. How often do you watch movies? Uh huh. Any volunteer? How often do you watch movies? I usually watch movies. Really, Jessica? Okay, what's your favorite Jessica. type of movie movies? Like a comedy? Comedy movies? Okay, yes. me too, me too. I like a science fiction. Science wow. fiction movies. Okay, okay. Jancy, can you make a question using how often, please? Um, okay. How how often do you how often do you do your medical checkups okay how often do you do your medical checkups do you go like going to the doctor and check you know everything okay that's that's very interesting. I need one more question. Let me see. Tania, can you give us one question using how often, please? Um, who do you who do you work? Who do you work? Or what? Wait, look, look. <laughs> this is the expression, Tania. How often? Do you, and then you need to use the action, the activity. Yes. I think we have a lot of noise uh, there, Tanya. I'm sorry. Let's let's choose a different classmate. Okay. Sorry, Tanya. You have a lot of noise. Let me go with Wendy. Okay. Wendy. Make a question using how often, please. Wendy Gonzalez. Okay, maybe she's not in. Sandra, help us, Sandra. Amaya, can you make one more question using how often? How often do you play soccer? How often do you play soccer? How about you, Samuel? I always play soccer. Really? When? On Sundays? Uh, and Sundays and in the work. And at work. Ah, oh, that's good. In the off time. And outside, in, in the neighborhood, you play a charamusca, right? Outside home. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, guys. You convinced me. Vámonos aquí a la otra pregunta. How long? Repeat. How long? How long? How long asks for a period of time? Yes? period of time for example how long do you spend at the gym yes for example 30 minutes a day repeat 30 minutes a day 30 minutes a day 30 minutes, a day. minutes minutes 30 the 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes a day, a day. Um, two hours, two hours a week, two hours a week, yes, about approximately, right, approximately about, about an hour on weekends, repeat, about an hour on weekends, repeat, repeat, repeat. 30 minutes a day, 
30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. Two hours a week. Two hours a week. Two hours a week. About an hour. About an hour on weekends. About an hour on weekends. Yes, Carlos, go ahead. Eh, how long solo se puede escuchar, solo se puede usar como frequency o también se podría usar como, por ejemplo, eh, en cuánto tiempo está el cine, por así decirlo. Wait, wait. All these questions are different. All these questions are different. Yes? How often is for frequency only, Carlos, in class? How often is only for frequency? Por eso les decía, how long is ahora para periods of time? Ajá, uh -huh. ahora ya nos olvidamos de frequency y vamos ahorita a periods of time. Por eso que 30 minutes a day son 30 minutos al día. Yeah. It's, a, it's a period. It's a, it's a little period of time. Yes? Um, Two hours, okay? Two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. You know, these are examples of periods of time. For example, how long, how long do you spend in your English class? How long do you spend in your English class? About an hour, every Correct. day. About an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, long, how long do you spend at work? Uh, at work. Hours. Like, eight hours. A eight day. hours, eight hours a day. Yes, eight hours a day is definitely uh, 40, 40 hours or, or 44 hours a week, maybe. But around around 40 and 44 hours a week. That's difficult, that's difficult. Hey, how long do you spend in your bed sleeping? How long do you spend sleeping? Around eight hours. What? Every night. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. You need to sleep, lady. <laughs> One more question. How long do you spend on Facebook? Um. 30 minutes a day. <laughs> 30 minutes a day, uh-huh. And the other students, uh-huh. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. A week. A week. Wow, that's good. That's good, miss. How long do you spend in the shower? When you're taking the shower, you're putting shampoo, soap, and everything. How long do you spend in the shower? About 30 minutes a day. <laughs> 50 minutes a day. 15? Like, like, like one five or, or 50? 50. Okay. 50. Oh, around an hour, huh? Around, around an hour. Hmm? An hour. <laughs> Okay, no problem. A ver, ustedes, make a question using how long. Raise your hand if you have a question. Raise your virtual hand if you have a question using how long. Lo que no la tienen, prepárenla. Make it happen, please. Make it happen now. Raise your virtual hand if you have a question using how long. How long. Make it interesting, guys. Make it interesting. How long? Mm -hmm. How 
How long? How long did you sing at work? What do you say? Can you repeat? How, I, how long do you spend at work? Ajá, ajá, aunque esa ya la, ya la platicábamos. Ah. Uh -huh. Necesito que me haga una diferente. Prepárenme, uh -huh. porfa. Make it happen. Do you have a question? Somebody has a question? Raise your hand. Oh, Tell yeah. me about it. Participation uh, time. How, 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 how long do you how spend long do you at school? Do it. Vaya, prepáreme la misa, ¿ok? ¿Quién más me dijo ahí? Me. How long do you take to eat your breakfast? How long do you take to eat your breakfast? That's no. a good question, ¿no? Oh, así es. O do you, how long do you take your breakfast? Es que dije take and eat. Mm, uh -huh. How long do you take to eat your breakfast? Uh -huh. It's like, ¿cuánto tiempo te tomas para comerte tu desayuno? Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. How long do you take to eat your breakfast? Mm, me, maybe 15 minutes, I think. What about you guys? Around 20 minutes. Around 20 minutes, yeah, yeah. How long, how long do you do you take to eat your breakfast? Okay, thank you for the question. Somebody has a different question using how long? How long? Come on. How long do you spend on Netflix? Mm. How long do you spend on Netflix? Honestly. Honestly speaking, aha, uh -huh. talk to me. How long do you spend on Netflix? Huh? Tell me. Make your confession. About, about an an hour per every day? About an hour? It's impossible you spend only an but, hour. Yes, it depends of the of the series or it the is movie. So addictive. It is so freaking addictive, man. I can't believe it. Yeah, about an hour. What about you guys? How long do you spend on Netflix? That was a great question. Uh-huh. Ladies, ladies, can you allow me to make you a question? I always have a curiosity. Yes? How long? do you spend at the beauty salon? Uh, it depends. Uh -huh. Everything depends with women. Everything depends. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> so how long do you spend at the beauty salon? Huh? 30 minutes? An hour? Maybe two hours. Maybe two hours. Huh? Wow. It's a big work, huh? Uh-huh. Three, three hours. Three hours sometimes? Okay. Three hours. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, can you make one more question using how long? Patricia, do you have a question using how long? Uh, how long do you spend at the cell phone? On your cell phone. On your cell on, phone. On your uh -huh. cell phone. Este, este at de lo vamos a usar con un lugar, ok, como at the gym, at the supermarket, at the stadium, uh -huh. entonces sería on your cell phone, can you repeat the question Patricia for the class? How long do you spend 
on your cell phone. Aha, uh -huh, guys, how long do you spend on your cell phone? Aha, uh -huh, belly. how long do you spend on your cell phone? No? Okay, what about Jessica? I don't know, teacher. A lot. Maybe every, maybe every hour. But but totally, but totally during the day. Imagine, totally. If if you if you if you put all the time together, it's like what? Like maybe five hours, four or five hours, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you for the questions. Let's go with the next one. The next question is how well? How well is like que también haces tu esta actividad, right? How well do you play tennis? Uh, you can say pretty well is excellent. Repeat pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. About. Very well. Average. About. Average. About. 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 Average. Average. Link it. About average. About average. About average. About average. Es como que, ¿no? Bueno, en el promedio, ¿verdad? ¿no? About average. Or, not very well. Repeat, not, not very well. Not very well. Not very well. Repeat, pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Very well. Pretty, pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. About average. About average. About average. Not very well. Not very well. Not very well. Question for my students. How well do you cook? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not very well. Not very well. Uh oh, really? <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. Pretty well. Okay. Make questions using well. how well. Raise your virtual hand and make a question using how well do you? How well do you? Yeah. How well, do you, how well do you speak how well English? You? How well do you speak English? About average. Uh huh. Jessica, Not go ahead. Make well. a question. Not very well. Not very well. <laughs> uh huh, Jess. How well do you sing? How well do you sing? Hmm, not very well, Miss. I suck. I suck. Okay. How about you? How about you, Sandra? How well? How well do you sing, Sandra? Teacher, do you say suck? ¿Qué significa? What does it mean? Apesto. Apesto. <laughs> <laughs> cantando, pues cantando, mis. <laughs> no me da aquí el la, la ¿Cómo se dice? I'm not. I don't have a good tone. For singing? No, no, I can't sing. Ya me imagino en un karaoke. Oh, no. Only in my house. <laughs> Only in my house by myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make a different question. How well? Volunteer. How well? How well, How well do you dance? How well uh, do you um... dance? Ooh, uh-huh, guys. How well do you dance, Jancy? I don't dance. <laughs> you don't dance? Yeah. Only the eyes. Only the eyes. 
<laughs> I don't think so. All women can dance. All women can dance very well. Ahí los varones que a veces andamos con dos pies izquierdos, ¿verdad? That's right. How well do you dance? Ah, uh -huh, Sandra, Campos, how well do you dance? I'm not very well. Not very well, huh? Really? Oh. How about you? How about you? Let me see. How about you? How about you? How well do you dance? Make a different question. About average. About average. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Samuel, make a question. How well? How well do you cook? How well do you cook? Okay. Vamos a ver, Ruth. Estamos ahí, Ruth. Cruz, are you there? Can you make a question using how well? How, how well, well do you clean your house? How well do you clean your house? <laughs> okay, how well do you play an instrument? Huh? How well do you play an instrument? Uh huh, guys? Not very well. Uh -huh. Not very well, okay. About average, yes? How well do you sing romantic songs in English? Not very well. Not very well. Not very well. In love. You love it. Ah, so you're pretty well, huh? So you're pretty well. Demonstration, demonstration. Demonstration. Demo uh -huh. <laughs> All right, good job. Good participation. Bueno, la última pregunta, esta última se parece mucho a how well. How, solo que acá vamos a usarla con el verbo to be. How good are you? Y aquí si usamos la preposición at. How good, how good are you at sports? ¿Qué tan bueno eres en los deportes? Um, how good are you at sports? Si ubicamos acá un verbo, tiene que ir en gerundio. Por ejemplo, how, how good are you at natación? How do you say natación? Swimming. 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 swimming siempre con swimming. ing how good swimming. are you at swimming uh -huh, guys how, how good are you how at good swimming? are you at swimming the options are pretty good. good repeat pretty good not so good pretty, pretty good. good pretty good okay 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 or not so good hey guys i have a question how good are you at expositions? <laughs> pretty, pretty good. At the I'm pretty good. good. Ah, oh, come on. Give me a break. Okay, guys. Thank you for your participation. You guys really rock and roll. Están con todos los poderes ustedes en esta hora, ¿verdad? Me llega. Que estén bien cenados antes de la clase con todas las energías. Los felicito, sigamos así. Este, recordarles que vayan ahí completando siempre sus partes de la plataforma. Siempre practican su, su, su clase, ¿verdad? Siempre estuvo bien. Ok, y sigamos con esta dinámica participativa que tenemos. Es muy divertido esta clase con ustedes. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, algún comentario, alguna queja? This is the moment. No. 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 no comments. No comments. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Have a good night, everyone. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. See ya good night. later. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Okay. So long. Be safe.
Take it easy. Thank you.